Hi, I'm Dennis Bailey. I'm with the Monmouth County SPCA. Um, I've been with the SPCA for 47 years. Uh, we had the thrift stop here, and after the storm, we decided to help the people and the pets of Monmouth and Ocean County as best we could um, through the devastation of Sandy. Uh, we opened up the pet pantry, and what we do is we help people, you know, supply food and, you know, supplies for their animals during this time. Um, since they've been displaced and or living in hotels or with relatives or with friends and stuff uh, and no money coming in, we can help them at least feed their pets and take care of them and keep them with them, you know, until some of this they can get back home or, you know, get a little bit more normalcy. So as you can see, a lot of uh, scout groups, the children groups have been wonderful. Um, they've been donating an awful lot of food. Uh, we do, you know, have other things like carriers and beds that we use for them that people can use. Um, and some of the big companies have given us, you know, the pallets of food also. So it's been a, we've reached out to about 500 families so far, which has been very good. You know, they've been very appreciative and, you know, that we can help them now because they've been, you know, they, they love their pets and they want to keep them with them. So this is what we have right now is like this, we turn the thrift store into the pet pantry for the time being. Hopefully we'll see how far this is going to go, but right now we do need this, and, you know, the people and the pets of Mom's County do. So if you want to just take a look, I guess, if you want to see what we have, you know, we have an awful lot of can and the dry food, and that's what we have most of, you know, with the, uh, a lot of dog food. We, we have been lucky and gotten an awful lot of dog food. So, um, but with the cat food, we can always use more because there is quite a few more cat people out there, you know, um, helping the ones that have been, you know, survived with, from the Hurricane Sandy and, you know, they, they're in different colonies now. So that we can always use the food for. We, we're here nine to four, seven days a week. Hi, we're in the pet pantry for the SPCA and what we're dealing, one of our uh, dear friends who helps out animals for many, many years. Uh, what Barbara did, she had taken in a colony from the ocean front that was affected by Sandy, and now she is feeding them. And that's what we do. We help people out with the food, you know, and the litter to help them take care of them until they can, you know, put them back where they, you know, were before. So with the pet pantry project, what we do, you fill out the form and you let us know, you know, how many you have. We also have a program um, that for, with the spay and neuter of some of the pets uh, for $10. It's a copay. So we've been helping people get some of them done, which is great because this way we can, you know, obviously reduce the overpopulation. So Barbara, you know, with the ones that you have at home now, um, with yours, you know, you do find that this is a big help to you. Oh, a tremendous help you know. for many people particularly people who are longtime rescuers and being affected not only by the storm, the recent storm, but the economy in general. It's very important because these animals now, many of them have no shelter. Shelters were washed away, feeding stations. It's also going to be kitten season soon. So those that are either very often we find abandoned animals at our stations that need constant spay and neuter. So it's very important to have very low cost spay and neuter. But the pantry and also providing blankets is very important to many people, not just rescuers, displaced people. Hi, my name is Pauline Ravis. I'm a volunteer here for over 40 years. Not only do I help Dennis here, I used to take uh, things from the thrift shop to make money, extra money for Dennis, for the animals. Uh, I feel it's important for people to help the animals, and that's why I give my time. I really don't have enough time in the day to do everything I want to do. There's so much that has to be done for these animals to really help them and educate the people. Uh, what more can I say? I just hope that we can get uh, people through with their animals with this help that they've decided to do. Because uh, we were helping people at first and now we have to help their animals. And I do hope that people donate to us money, anything, food, anything to help these animals. What more can I say?
that's about it. Thank you. Hi, I'm Barbara Pasello. I work at the Monmouth County SPCA. I am in charge of the pet food pantry and coming dogs and puppies from the south and TNR.